watching TVC News. Now, Blatter State has also been a hotbed of attacks from bandits. The most recent incident saw gunmen suspected to be bandits attack four villages in Canham Council area of the state, and more than 100 deaths were recorded in that attack, while many houses were set ablaze. That's what we'll be talking about next. Now, joining me virtually from Plateau State, Joss, uh, to discuss a troubling spate of insecurity is the CEO, Tamak Security Limited, uh, Taria Ipalabo, Ipalibo. Uh, Taria, it's good to have you join me uh, this afternoon. Inko Taria, are you there? Good afternoon. Good afternoon. I'm great, there. great. Nice to have you join me. Now, yeah. the, 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 let's look at the plateau. The, there was a time that peace had returned where novelty matches were even played between herders and uh, locals there, you know, signaling a return of cordial relationship, a mutual relationship where everyone understands and they work together. What is going on? What happened that uh, we are hearing of attacks again in Plateau State? Yes. Um, when the peace match was played, it, 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 it showed everyone that um, peace had returned and then the headers had um, reconciled with the indigenes. You know, but what is happening lately I, we believe, though not confirmed, that they are not indigenous elders. They are people who came from outside the state to perpetrate this heinous crime. So apparently, um, it's, it has nothing to do with the indigenous, the elders that have been on the plateau for, for years. There are some elements from outside the state. All right. Now, it, it gives some kind of worry because with the security presence in parts of Plateau State to forestall any kind of breakdown of law and order of this kind, uh, one wonders how herdsmen or, or unknown gunmen come from outside the state to carry out this kind of uh, reported mass killings of close to 100 people with villages being sacked and they succeed in doing this and getting away without any, uh, um, you know, defense from the security agencies or at least to repel them or something. Talk to us about the level of security presence in all of those places. We are on ground and from what we can see, the security presence from the various security agencies, that it's grossly inadequate grossly inadequate. There is no way you will have um, enough men covering the entire local government, the 17 local governments in Plateau. And um, uh, it, it, it's obvious that the current security setup is not adequate. All right. Now, talk to us about some of the efforts by locals to defend themselves. Uh, of course, in the eye of uh, the law, everyone should submit to the constituted authority. However, there are some times where vigilantes or, or even locals come together to create uh, people who watch over the, the, the villages or the, the, the communities for a period of time. Talk to us about those kind of things. Do they exist? As a matter of fact, um in providing communal security, the paramount rulers, various traditional leaders, and then the youths must be involved. And to a large extent, they've been involved. They've mobilized themselves into vigilante groups and hunters groups and, and um, the various security groups within the community. But you see, that effort in itself cannot provide the much desired protection. Reason is because um, these various groups, they, they lack the technical support system. They, they are not trained. They are not trained. They, they do not know how to pick intelligence. They do not know what to do. So you see them getting overwhelmed because of their lack of preparedness. So and that's why we keep saying as private security practitioners on the plateau, 
that um, there is need for collaboration. The, 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 the government and the traditional leaders need to reach out to some of us that have the requisite technical expertise that can provide the necessary guide that would um, ultimately protect the people. So yes, on the one hand, they have grouped themselves as vigilante and um, uh, hunters. But on the other hand, they lack the training. You know, so you always hear of attacks and attacks and attacks and attacks. So what they, they, they do not know what to do to stop the attack or to prevent the attack. Mm. All right, Daria uh, Ipalibo, thank you so much for joining us right now on the news.